All right, are we live? Are we doing yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're live Heck on yeah. Twitch.com. We're, we're live <laughs> on Twitch.com, also known as YouTube.tv. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Cool. And, by li and by live, I mean we're uh, not live. We're, we're recording. Literally recording. Yeah. We're recording <laughs> live, but yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, man. Cool, so welcome to uh, this this thing with, yeah what, uh, whatever this is gonna be whatever this is gonna be featuring the zero gamers <laughs> <laughs> void yeah. with the zero and an o and but maybe that the should zero. be the the name of the, the zero gamers the yeah, zero yeah, gamers. yeah. <laughs> it's like there's no gamers here but there's actually two yeah yeah because <laughs> like i mean we still don't have a name for this we might have yeah. when this will go live uh but yeah yeah i don't know I was, I was like brainstorming ideas yesterday like i like you you know how you hit me up uh in dms here today and you were like yeah maybe we could, should call this like you know like snakes and rhinos or whatever like make an obvious reference to like the yeah the, towards the, the animal and the ratley thing but like i was yeah. like uh i don't know I, I was like trying to like think more like generic yeah? but like mm -hmm. man the zero gamers like <laughs> The oh, no, zero like... gamers, dude. The fun fun story about the zero and my username. I like, I was. I you you remember this, I'm sure. But I I used to be a Tylenol SSBM on uh, Twitch, and um, I don't think I knew you th back then. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah, because you were one of the last people that I like, last like uh, top runners that I had ever interacted with uh, in the DKC community when I was like first picking up the game actually. Because um. I remember like I think it was mostly just because I followed a lot of DKC one, but I didn't really watch too much DKC two because I didn't grow up playing that game. So I, when I was going on Twitch or whatever, I'd usually hover around DKC one, which made me run into like auto like peachy Eason, like those guys or whatever right 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 but um yeah my my username used to just be Tylenol SSBM but I never streamed melee at all so like <laughs> it was just like I went around everyone's like yeah hi, hi guys I'm a melee player but like I was like but I only like speed run on twitch and I was like well let me figure out what to change my username to and I really wanted Tylenol with an O but it was taken and the person who uses it like actively streams so oh, I was okay. just like so I was like well what am I going to do? And I was like, I put the zero there and I was like, I don't know if I like the way that looked, but of course when you do a name change, like people that change their names like often or like ever at all, really, they probably understand what I mean here. But like you look at it and you're like, do I want to identify as this, you know, like, yep. is this like, and then you overthink the way it looks and you're like, ah, oh, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Or That's like a but... big reason why I haven't changed my name yet. Like I thought about it, but I was like, man, I've been void for so many years, void with the zero for so many yeah. years, like changing it would kind of be bad because like people would be like, well, who, 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 who this now in my followers list? I've never heard of that guy. It's like, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like rebranding entirely. Like he was, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's a huge decision to make. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, I don't know. I like the zero and the, uh, I yeah. think it just look, it just looks really clean. Mm -hmm. it, it's kind of, I don't know why it looks so clean, but it just kind of does. Yeah. It's just yeah. kind of like the whole up down with the zero, you know, and the, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I have a similar oh, story, but well, like, I mean, yeah, similar story in the sense that like I grew attached to my zero now. Like I could probably remove it and just like get void with without the zero. But like back when I made my name, the reason why I did the zero there was that I didn't want the underscore at the end. I'm not yeah. part of the underscore legion. Yeah, I have underscore on Twitter. Not a huge fan. Yeah, but, uh, you know. At the same time, I'm just like I don't know if anything else really works out for me, so I'm just gonna rock with it. Honestly, can you not have Tylenol with a zero? on twitter apparently or? that's a suspended account uh which means that i imagine maybe one day when twitter gets around to it uh they'll make it an available username or if i get the little check mark on twitter which will probably never happen i can do it but yeah i mean how do you <laughs> even get the check mark on twitter apparently every like year you can apply for it or something like that and uh like that's that's it it's just mm. they, it's just maybe they give it to you maybe they don't i, I think it's every year i'm not 100 percent sure on that part but that's, you apply it, that's for the tweet it. yeah that's the tweet that's it <laughs> <laughs> literally oh my freaking gosh um Damn, yeah but I, I think from what i heard like you kind of have to use your real name or whatever and then like it's, yeah I, like that, I, that helps that the, helps the process i think is fairly simple and straightforward but it's just like you got to do it exactly like is it, is like, it auto verified for example yeah i think so yeah um but i i want to say it might have been like like the longer you're around or whatever like 
maybe there was a point in time where it was easier. I feel like that was maybe the case for Twitch Partner as well. Um, where like if you had an account way back when and you applied for Partner, you know, however, you know, they did it back then, like maybe it was easier then versus now. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like maybe having that like OG cloud or whatever may make Of it getting Partner, easier. you mean? Uh, yeah, getting partner or even just getting Twitter verified. Like, oh, yeah. I feel yeah. like maybe, maybe things were different at a certain point in time. Yeah. But... Yeah. It's like getting partner on Twitch nowadays is like, like the requirements are less strict than they used to be, but there, oh, okay. there are so many more people streaming yeah. that like, it's it, it, like it dilutes the, the, the viewership in a sense. Mm-hmm. It's like everyone's trying to get partnered, and they're like, "Oh, yep. maybe I can do this," and then yep. they just want to, you know, grind. But because yeah, it's they, like they they see so... that like other people get it, so they want to get it on that as well. Yeah, I cannot tell you how many times I go on Twitter and just see, "Oh, I just got partnered," and I'm just like, it, "I see it all the time," and I'm just like, "Man, yeah, yeah, I, like... I see it all the time too." Like I see a bunch of like names that I've never heard of before. It's like, "Oh, this person got partnered," but like I, I don't even know who they are. <laughs> even like speedrunners too, right? It's like I'm just like, "Oh well." Yeah, cool. <laughs> it, it is cool. I mean, especially speedrunners. Like I've always said that, um, like getting affiliate is completely free if you're a speedrunner and you like yeah, stream your runs constantly and you like interact like a minimum amount in your community. Yeah. And mm -hmm. like getting getting partner is like the next step, but like you really gotta like work your dick off at this point. Yeah, I mean like. That's 75 magic number average, which is honestly, in reality, probably closer to 100. I think that's probably why they put it, like, at 75, because, like, yeah. in reality, you kind of have to hit, like, 100 every time when you're streaming, because, like, they yeah. want you to be a little bit higher than that. And well, you have to, to you have to hit consistent. 100 when you're streaming to, like, make up for, like, you know, at the start of the stream, you don't have, the start like, 100 of the stream. right exactly. away, so, like, for the stream to average out. And then you also have to consider the fact that most people get denied their first time. Like, the first yeah. time of them applying for partner, they get denied. Like, I, I think mm -hmm. I also get got denied. I don't remember if I got it on my second or third attempt. Like, that was years ago. But, like, yeah. yeah. Like, Toucan, for when example, like, she got, she got denied twice before getting it yeah, ultimately. Right. When did you get partner? Was it, like, 2015 or 17, something? 17. It was 17, February okay. 17. Okay, dang, that was five years ago. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, five years. That's almost two years. It's almost two. It's almost one and a half years. Yep. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So, uh, both of us. Uh, for those who don't already know, but I imagine everyone pretty much knows at this point that at least is watching this. Uh, we're both uh, DKC speedrunners. Uh, Void, known for being amazing at all three DKC games. Uh, I am moderately decent at the first one. Um, Mo moderately and, uh, awesome, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Void Void has uh, man, dude, you you got quite a quite a history in the DKC trilogy. I gotta say, like I, I sometimes I just think about like how many crazy times you've gotten in all three games, and I'm just like, dude, I didn't, like you just like really I'm, put I'm just cracked in. dude yeah <laughs> yeah you, yeah that too like what the heck dog yeah like, <laughs> i've just been around for so long like yeah sometimes when i look back at it i'm like damn like i, I i'm fucking good <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah i'd say so yeah. like you yeah. you ha didn't you hold the uh, world record in all stages and dkc to any percent at the same time at yeah once? yeah like yeah. that's i don't know has anyone ever done that before <laughs> mm maybe like reflected way back in the day yeah. oh okay did that because like when the like when, Re the Ref had the, uh, gamer? when ref had the uh infamous 34 13 the 34 13 yeah. the, the donkey kong country world record it's just always the world record i don't even know why it's before my time but it's always the world record <laughs> do you want to know the lore actually i could tell sure, you sure let's, right let's now. go let's go into so, like it. ref ran on vc like the 3413 was mm -hmm. done on VC, but like when you do runs of DKC1 on VC, like the VC version is normally 1.2, right? Yes. So he just like injected a 1.1 ROM, or what maybe it was a 1.0 ROM on uh, VC so that he could like, you know, do uh, fanfare skip and like map warp mm -hmm. and all those shenanigans that you can only do when you're playing the right version of DKC1. 
Uh, so, like, there was some, like, discussion slash, I guess, like, arguments over, like, whether that was legitimate or not back in the day, and, um, I don't exactly remember, like, how it ended up or, like, how it got settled, but, yeah, like, when Ref got 34-13, that was, uh, that was the record at the time. Yep, there it is. (laughs) And it still is to this day. Yeah, like it, 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 it was infamous to the point that it's still known to the the young lads, or rather, like it's perpetrated by the 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 old fossils like me, who know the <laughs> history. Yeah, exactly. It's a good meme. I'm a fan of it. DKC one, yeah, I, th- I, th- I think you're right. I think you're right. I like that game too. Yeah, I, li- I like all three donkeys. In fact. Hard, hard, hard to believe yeah. that, considering yeah, uh, yeah. How, how how much time I've spent playing those games. Yeah, just a tad bit. I want to. I really want to get into like running all of them, like to a serious level. I'm not really sure if I'd run any of them like as seriously as I'd ran the first one, but I do want to like. I think I do have interest in like grinding down to get a 38 and DKC to any percent mm-hmm. at some point. But yeah, you know. I mean, you totally could do it. Like if you if you're, if you're going for 30 in all stages, like. You can definitely do it. Like, what what is your PB right now in two any? Uh, fifty seven minutes and some change. I don't remember the seconds. But, uh, okay. Uh, so you, so yeah. You, so you never I, like took that game seriously. Yeah. Well, I I like when I picked it up at first. I picked it up kind of like, and, and this is something that I kind of like. I feel like I don't know if like that many people talk about it, but like when you pick up like a speed game, right? Yeah. Um. Sometimes you'll want to really put in practice before you even do a single run there's tons of people that do that um and like that will give you the best times as fast as you can when i picked up dkc to any percent i was just like i'm just gonna skim through it like it's like skim reading or like skim studying or whatever for Mm. a test it's like you i'm just gonna like oh let me make sure i know how to not die in this state how to complete it and that was pretty much like my goal so yeah. When I first picked it up, uh, that was kind of my approach to it, which um, I do think that there's benefits in both approaches when you're picking up a speed game where it's like, if you want to just kind of skim through it, it's like, it could be pretty fun because like crazy things will happen to you and you really won't know what's happening to you because yeah. <laughs> you just, just because of your lack of information, which in a way makes the whole journey that much like more enjoyable. Yeah, that uh, much sweeter. I, at least I think. But Yeah, yeah. Like I, I, I totally agree that like both approaches have uh, their ups and downs. Like I remember like, when I used to learn games back in the day, I would always learn them up front. Like DKC2, I learned up front. That's why, like, my first mm-hmm. runs had Top Cell Trouble, Wrong Warp, which is both Kaizo and not recommended. Yeah. Um, but yeah, nowadays I do prefer just like being like more chill about it and like, you know, the, the, the speed walk mentality, so to speak. Yeah. Just like run through the game and make sure you don't die and like slowly but surely like get used and accustomed to like the movement and like what to do uh where Mm. and etc and yeah i think i think both are valid like you're gonna be rewarded quicker when if you learn the game up front but like there's also like a good chance of you like being more frustrated and like hitting a wall as a result yeah yeah exactly and then at that point you have to kind of split off and be like okay do I want to like sit down and work on this really hard or do I want to kind of just let it go with the flow and be okay with the bumps in the road that are going to be along the way? Cause like there really is a way to like improve it a game as by just doing runs and eventually mm-hmm. you'll just, eventually you'll run into a point where it's like, okay, I really need to sit down and practice hard for this. But like, it's, it's really just up to you. Like everyone's got their different goals and yeah, preferences yeah. when it comes to speed running. And I don't think that any, I don't know. Uh, I was talking to known gamer PPMD, the melee player. Uh, <laughs> PPMD Craigasm. <laughs> PPMD Craigasm. I was talking. I was talking to him about melee a little bit yesterday, and he was saying the best. I think he said like the best way to play melee is the way that like works the best for you, or like that's most fun for you, or whatever. Because mm-hmm. that 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 is the best melee, and I think that that applies to speed running too. Where it's like the best speed running is the speed running that works the best for you is like the whether it's like grinding and that's like you're like that keeps you going keeps you motivated to like push your time down as far as you can practicing a lot or if it's just playing and just kind of going with the flow of things and um yeah one thing that's uh really nice about speed earning is i could just i'm, I'm sitting in my chair at home i could just do it right now you know yeah, yeah. well i mean you're, yeah. you're doing this podcast right now but oh uh, sure. yeah i mean I, maybe i could like you know boot up the crt <laughs> yeah, yeah do, do a quick any percent run like quick just, any percent run like, just in the middle 
all of like this layout. <laughs> <laughs> just like yeah. literally just having a tiny cam or a mm. feed in the bottom right or whatever. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I agree with them in the sense that uh, like there's no correct way to like learn and pick up speedrunning. Like everyone will have uh, their different uh, approaches to it. And like, yeah, what works for you like is really like what you should uh, apply and yeah. run with. Does he run anything? Like, has, has he had, like, an interest in speedrunning ever? Or? He watches. He watches me a lot, apparently. Um, oh, okay. But, um... He learns. I never see him, I never see him in chat, but... <laughs> mm, yeah. Uh, but, um... Uh, yeah, I know he watches a lot. I remember him a while ago saying some something about having some interest in SM64, but I don't know if he's gonna, like, pick it up or, like, what his plans are with that, and, you know, if he wants to, if he doesn't anymore but uh, well, like a few years ago i talked to him briefly about it and he seemed kind of interested in sm64 mm. they are um, they're always interested in sm64 like armada yeah, also picked up sm64 right yep that's true there's a whole thing about like melee players and like being interested in speedrunning and they're all like i don't know like i've talked to so many melee players they're all like oh yeah i want to run a game with like no rng good movement and it's like they always talk about good movement like yep. i'm just like good movement. And, and i'm just like I'd like to believe, like, I don't know, maybe I'm biased here, but I think the DKC games have really good movement. And they that's do. part of the reason why and, I really like them. And they like don't them. have a lot of RNG. Yeah! <laughs> like, and I'm just, just, we're just we're, throwing that out there, gamers. We're, we're literally just, you know, shooting the ball real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, there, there, there's like, so little RNG in, like, all three DKC games. Yeah, it's, it's like, but because of how popular SN64 is... It's like, oh, well, like, that's that's the one. That's like the right speed game to pick. You know, yeah, I feel like a, yeah. I feel like a lot of melee players. I, I'm not I'm not gonna say like anyone in particular, but I feel like a lot of people just I've talked to like about melee speed riding. A lot of them have told me like, oh, if I ran, I'd run SM64. Yeah, they're more I'm interested even by sure. SM64. Yeah, and like. I mean, it's a cool game. I I definitely think it's a cool speed run, and uh, it's got a lot of interesting things about it. But I don't know. Like I I get I gotta say, like I'm pretty sure these people have played other games when they were kids. Right? <laughs> like I don't wait, know. Wait, like, wait, there, there are more games out there than SM64. It turns out, yeah. Gosh, <laughs> I would have never thought. But yeah, like I mean, I have I have words about SM64. Like I don't particularly enjoy the game casually but like i will agree yeah, yeah. that it is a six speed run and like yeah. i have watched my fair share of sm64 speed runs like i mean that's how i found speed running in the first place oh really yeah yeah gamer uh siglemic back in like Siglemic. 2012 uh, was the mm -hmm. sm64 streamer that i found but, like back then like back then he had like a massive audience like he had like i think 2500 viewers like every stream i heard about that i yep. heard that he he had a lot of viewers for like the twitch viewer base or whatever back oh in the yeah day. oh yeah yeah like, that was like the 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 golden age <laughs> the golden age the golden age <laughs> um my my like path into getting into speedrunning kind of stemmed from my interest in i i for those who don't know i'm a huge legend of zelda fan like favorite like video game franchise or whatever like i i've played like pretty much all the games I, there's like a few that i have and like a few like the ds games and stuff but um overall i've played like pretty much all of them and when i was younger one of my first times going on youtube um my, my cousin showed me what youtube was back in like 2006 i was like a, i was 11 right i think 11 yeah so he showed me youtube and he's like and i'm like oh like, like what is this and he was just like oh like you should like uh t you can like type in whatever whatever you want and you could just find videos of it and i was like okay so uh he's like if you like you know have a, a specific video game that you like then um you know you can put that in so i typed zelda ocarina of time because at the time that was like my favorite game when i was like 11 and um and i found all these videos and just like some of it was like modded stuff like really early you know because it was 2006 we're talking like this is yeah. like, there's some early like modded things that i saw like hacked like game shark stuff there's like one thing where i saw like you could have like a was an R Wing from Star Fox in Ocarina of Time. Like I saw like a video of that. And I'm like, what is this? Yeah, that is <laughs> like, that, that sounds crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was it was I'm sure there's still videos of it too. It's like kind of insane. But um I uh I saw those videos and I'm like, this is crazy. Uh and eventually I ran into a video of someone showing off the infinite sword glitch, which is uh the the thing in the glitch in Ocarina of Time. Yeah, right, yeah the uh, the ISG. 
the ISG, yeah. So I saw that, and then eventually, like, I just ran into videos of ZFG and Runner Guy okay, um, yeah. on YouTube, and that was kind of how I was introduced to the idea of speedrunning. But like, I didn't understand how capture cards worked or whatever. <laughs> I, I didn't get. I was like, how do they get the get the console? You know, I I, I didn't. Yep. I was eleven, so I didn't get it. Yep. You know, and I didn't have like you know friends that like you know could explain it to me yeah. so like and like back then i mean there wasn't discord there was skype and even if there even if like i had a skype which i didn't because i was so little but like i uh i probably would have like needed to meet these people some other way you know what i'm yeah. saying like now yeah. nowadays if you want to like learn about stuff like that it's like oh join the discord it's like the accessibility is a lot like bigger oh, yeah. but yeah that was yeah. pretty much how i got introduced to the idea it was, was, was the jungle back around. in the day. Yeah, you're totally right. Like, just getting the in access to the information was impossible. It's like, <laughs> I, I remember I was the same. Like, when I started streaming, I was like, I have no idea how to do this. And, like, everyone was talking on stream about, like, you just get, just get like, a Dazzle. Because, like, like, back then, that was, like, the capture card to use, the Dazzle yeah. BBC 100 or whatever. Which, by the way, mm -hmm. is fucking dog shit. But <laughs> I was like, all right, let me just get a Dazzle. And like, I got a Dazzle and, like... It, it worked like i was able to get it working and i was like well it's like it's it i guess it's that easy once you like acquired the equipment and you just like hook it all up but like it's it, it is very daunting when you don't you're not really familiar with that world and like like you said like back then discord was not a thing so like mm -hmm. just like asking someone anyone for like you know like really concise information on that was uh a little trickier Mm -hmm, exactly um and i guess talking about the topic of like people you know like getting into speed running and stuff like uh we, are we like we talked about this a little bit before we started doing the recording for this but like you know just like the whole uh when you want to like try out speed running and you're just like okay like let me like watch some people and like you watch them and you maybe you're like a little intimidated by like what you're watching other people do mm -hmm. and you're just like you see them resetting a bunch maybe you see someone get a little upset because of how their runs are going that day and it's like you know the like it's something that's really like hard to realize i guess when you're new to like watching this stuff is like a lot of the times when people are watching speed runs they're really interested in watching top runners right grinding a game at the top is nothing like grinding a game when you're like in like mid or like lower level yeah. because you will be resetting a lot more. You do have to go for these tricks that are extremely difficult because of the time save. And like the experience is nothing, nothing like what most people will experience. Yeah. Running. It's like, um, it, it's entirely different. It's an entirely different experience. And like, yeah, like you said, like just grinding a game at world record level is exponentially harder than like playing, like trying to start speedrunning a game. Like you're new to a community and you like, Oh, let's say I want to run, yeah, DKC1. Just throwing that as an example out there. I want to run DKC1. Then you like, you, you, know, you start you start playing, you watch some runs here and there. You see like, you, you watch those gamers like Lovebird and Tylenol and like, they're, they're resetting in like the first couple worlds. Like, huh, it seems it seems hard, it seems annoying. Yeah. Why, would, why would I subjugate myself to that? Yeah. Like, <laughs> It's, it, like it's, it's not really... gonna be it's not gonna be like that for you like it doesn't have to be like that like i mean if you want to you know reset uh constantly uh, over small mistakes then like i mean like feel free to do so but like what yeah. we're telling you is that like you're not you're not gonna like start playing a game and like be a world record contender from like off the bat right. right right off the bat yeah exactly like that's not gonna happen so like you just like taking things uh slowly and at your own pace like we were saying earlier like you know just, just like applying what's most comfortable to you really is like the best way to go about this and like eventually if you like put enough work into it and you are like dedicated enough to like eventually contest world records then like you can contest world records at that point but like yeah. just like that's how, like, I've seen so many runners, like, uh, rise and fall. They, they they roll into the community and they're like, my goal is world record for this game. They, like, yeah. they, they start playing Donkey 2 or whatever. And then, like, a month later, you don't hear of, of them. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, they, they just like disappear, and you're like, huh? I want. I wonder what happened to them. Did did, did, did the game break them? Chances are the game probably did break them, or like yeah. either, either that, or like you know, like I said, their uh, mentality and their like the, the way they applied uh, things to like speedrunning wasn't the best. Right. Yeah. And I mean, like, I'm gonna draw like a crazy parallel here, but like, it, it's like if you go in and you're like, I'm going to prepare myself for a food eating competition. And you're just like, I want to be able to eat as much food as I can to, like, prepare myself for this competition. You're like, I want to be the best at this. So you get a big plate and fill it up with everything, and you just try to eat it all at once. Like, you can't do that, nah. right? Like, so th that's, like, the same thing as just picking up a speed game and going for everything when you first pick it up. Yeah. Like, you just can't do that like you could try like don't get me wrong like if you i am all about be shooting for the stars i think that like coming in and knowing that you want to take something seriously or even just having the idea of like oh that sounds so cool i want to try that you know like and take it really seriously i'm all about it but you like have to kind of pace yourself everything's about pacing it's like if you go into college and you're like i want a degree it takes like four years you're not just gonna do it on you know in a week right like everything that is like hard is going to take time so like as long as you're willing to do that then that's 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 great you know i think it's fine to like approach it with that mindset but like you do have to be okay with pacing yourself otherwise oh, yeah. like you're just gonna you're just gonna crumble like it's yep. hard mm -hmm. it's very difficult yep. man your analogy of like food eating is like so good because like it's, <laughs> you don't you don't want to have too much on your plate like it's so right it's so right like you know a, a, lot, a lot of people when they start running they just like like we were saying earlier like you just want to like learn everything up front but like sometimes like you just won't have like the experience or like the backbone to understand like why you're making that mistake like what causes the mistake that you're making like why can't you fix it that's because you don't like have the foundation yeah you don't have Experience the foundation plays such a big role yeah to understand why you're making that mistake like you need you need to walk before running yeah like, exactly literally. like when i play dkc1 there are so many times that like i prevent a run killing mistake preemptively because i can kind of see that i made one mistake that usually leads to two other ones right after just because of positioning things mm -hmm. and like i can recognize that and just back up and do something a little slower just to keep the run going yeah but yeah. like someone that's newer won't be able to do that unless they've seen it they've seen many runs die to those things you yeah. know and it's like it's not you know those types of things like you would think like oh well if i want to be the best then like I need to nail all these strats or whatever, but it's like, like even everyone that's really good messes up. We mess up all the time. Oh, yeah. Like, it, it, like you can even, I'm, I'm sure there's like several old records in all the DKC games, for example, that like there were times where something like that happened, like where someone made like a really crucial tiny error that like could have killed the run and they backed it up like really smoothly, like, like in the snap of the finger, like that a newer runner couldn't do without enough experience. Mm -hmm exactly yeah. and like and like that's something that like you're not gonna see on the wiki you know yeah. that's not something that you're gonna see in the speed running guides for whatever speed game you're playing that's something that you can only figure out on your own from yeah. playing the game yeah chances are it's not even something you'll see when you'll watch the mistake happen you'll be yeah like, exactly you, you, you'll think that's normal you'll think like the movement is completely normal but like in reality like it will be a backup strat and you just like don't know about it like because mm -hmm. you don't have like once again like you don't have the, the experience to understand yeah. like why that backup was done in that spot that spot yeah and, and it's like sometimes i think about like with speed running and rta or whatever like like we when a run hits a certain length of time and i'm gonna like draw the differences between like a five minute category like smb1 any percent versus like a 30 minute category of like one of you know the dkc 30 to 40 minute category of one of the dkc games or whatever um like there is a point of like when a run gets to a certain length that you have to kind of like focus on consistency just for the sake of like 
getting as many runs as you can going be, to have a, one of them push through to become a PB. Mm -hmm. um, and like when you have something really short, like a five minute category, you can just YOLO everything all yeah. of it, and just kind of like just literally slam your head at it with every strap. So if someone wants to come in and learn literally everything and just push, I think a shorter category is probably the better thing to do that for. And that's fine. There are people that like to do that type of approach with speed mm -hmm. running, and I think yeah. that that's totally okay. Yeah, in, in um, general, like shorter runs are a lot more optimized than longer runs, specifically for that reason. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, because it's just not as frustrating to to like. If imagine if we did stuff like that in a four hour speed run, it's like no, <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like you can't you can't just do yeah. you'll just you'll literally go crazy, you know. Like, oh yeah. Like, you know, the task strats or whatever in a four-hour yeah. run. It's like, oh, you're two hours in, and uh, you go for, like, a task strat, and you fail it, and, like, the run instantly dies because you try to save, like, I don't know, like, three seconds. Like, that, that, yeah. that ain't happening. Three anymore. seconds in a four-hour speedrun is nothing, right? Yeah. Now, maybe three seconds in a 30-minute speedrun might be a little bit more, but, like, that is, like, <laughs> nothing. It's so insignificant. <laughs> Even then, like, okay, it is something, but, like, you gotta you gotta understand, like, the, the risk versus reward. Like, I've talked about exactly. this in uh, one of my previous videos, um, but, like, risk versus reward is, like, is so important in speedrunning, like, mm -hmm. it... it, it and, and once again, like, it goes back to, like, you learn a speed run and, like, maybe you don't understand, like, a strat the way it's done or, like, you don't really understand, like, the mistake that you're making. Like, if that happens to you, like, that's okay. Like, just, like, leave it and keep on playing the game and just, like, maybe revisit that strat later and once you'll, like, understand it and then, like, at that yeah. point, like, you'll understand it and, like, you'll you, you'll go, like, cosmic brain moment and you'll be able to save those sweet extra seconds that you were not able to when you picked up the game day one. Yeah, exactly. And I do think that there is, like, a, one thing I also kind of want to, like, bring up is, um... When someone's picking up speedrunning, there's kind of a difference between them speedrunning it and exclusively doing it offline versus streaming all of their attempts with like a camera mm. and a mic or something. Like those experiences are not like quite identical because like when you, I don't know, mess up and you're gonna be plus like 30 seconds, let's say you're even like pretty new to a game or whatever, like that you kind of have a level of like embarrassment, right? Of like people are watching me and like I made this silly mistake and you might feel embarrassed and you're like, that embarrassment feeling might make you more inclined to reset when you might not have to, you know? Yeah. So, like, you're really putting yourself out there. And I think that a lot of, like, the top runners of, like, like big games, like SM64, it's like a lot of people do, like, cam and mic streams, you know? So someone's like, oh, well, like, maybe I can try this out and just do what they do, you know? Maybe and maybe somebody has interest in, like, growing their own stream and using speedrunning as a way to, like, you know, grow their stream with, like, content or whatever and, like, when you go into it and you're doing these attempts with that in mind, the beginning is usually going to be a lot more rough. I oh think. yeah. Um, cause like, I, I, I always say like, I mean, I think that like resetting a lot when you're new is like not the way to go. Um, but a lot of people do it. And I feel like that might be because they're watching top runners and they just see them resetting. They're yeah. like, oh, well, this is just what you do. This is what speedrunning is. I got to reset Monkey button. see, monkey do, you know? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like... But, like, but like re resetting when you're a new runner, like, is a lot more harmful for you and, like, your success in speedrunning than when you're, like, a veteran. Because, like, when, when, when you already know, know, like, the ins and outs of your speed game, like, resetting is fine. Like, just, you know, practice the later levels or whatever uh, at, at, like, a later time. But, like, when you're new to running, like, the, the experience that you get from just, like, continuing a dead run, maybe, mm -hmm. is just really, really valuable. So, yeah, if, you have, if like... you have the time, then, like, I say you should, like, reset as little as possible. Like, keep the run going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, time is also another thing, because, like, sometimes, like, if you put time aside to do, like, uh, this might matter a little bit more for, like, like mid to top level runners, but, like, if you're putting time aside to do attempts, right, and you have, like, let's say, like, three hours, right, it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna use, like, 30 minutes to warm up, two and a half hours to do attempts, and, like, as you get towards the latter half of that three hour session, like, it, you have to calculate how long your run is, 
with like when you start that run and it's kind of like awkward right if you if you're pressed for time because it's like okay well let's say I, it's noon right and i want to start doing runs at noon or like start playing the game at noon and i can't keep going past three that and you're doing a 30 minute run like your run would be 30 minutes yeah then like you can't really start up another run past 2 30 yeah you just can't right and like, like the longer your run is the more annoying it is like as an exactly. example like uh i had i had class at 6 30 on wednesday nights for uh the last semester right uh -huh. and i was i was running one or two percent at the time so it's like i have to like calculate the fact that i have to get to, on campus it's like a 30 minute drive so like i have to leave home at six and i'm running an hour and a half category so like my last run has to be at like 4 30 tops by, <laughs> yeah. by, by, like every single reset would bring me closer to like that 4 30 deadline and i'm like man i can't get a run going i can't get past world one why why do i suck yeah. so bad why why is this the worst <laughs> day of my life you know like all all, all, all those shenanigans that you yeah know, we, we we share and love through speedrunning it turns out that speedrunners actually have lives and we do things other than grinding games nonstop. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. I mean like I don't know, man. Like it, it stinks, right? Like when you're when you can't get a run going and then you slowly or you're just resetting in the early game until you hit that point where you kinda just have to stop and you're like, well, I didn't even get the maximum value out of the whole time that I yep. had. To play and this With is way waste worse. of time yeah it just it kind of feels like you're just like wasting your time at that point yeah exactly like, it's even worse if you're running like a like a really long category like ocarina of time 100 or whatever like, yeah you know, for four hour run it's like i can't even you need a whole day for that right <laughs> like you like that's just yeah or like or, or or you need to like just degen it's like yeah it, like... It, it really depends on like your schedule and your free time right because like mm -hmm. if you if you can't really like afford to reset a lot then i say like just end up doing no resets as much as possible but exactly. at the same time like yeah if you fail like you fail a wrong warp like once and you lose like 10 minutes because of it like yeah that's that that's pretty demotivating to keep the run going but uh um, yeah exactly yeah it's, it's just like if you if you fail the wrong warp like an hour in and like you only have enough time to just like complete the run then you're, you're caught in this dilemma like do i keep the run going do i or do i stop streaming and just like cry in a pillow or something <laughs> cry in a pillow let me tell you there's sometimes where the runs are so bad i really just need to like sit down and just put my face in a pillow and just sit there yeah just let it, let, <laughs> so soak it all in i'm just like man like today was rough i just got the game was like oh you thought you were gonna pv <laughs> you thought you were gonna pv today yeah. think again <laughs> think bro. again think again <laughs> yep been, been there done that oh man <laughs> yeah this is this is this is rough but like but speedrunning is still cool gamers like don't, it's don't, very don't, cool. don't, don't don't take what we're saying for granted like speedrunning still has a lot of upsides <laughs> yeah i mean like some of my like best memories speedrunning were like when i first started i i i have to say it was it, it's still very fun today even but like it's it's a different kind of fun because i'm still pushing i'm pushing myself so much harder now than i did when i was first starting but like when i was first starting man it was just like i was really just entering this whole like new thing you know it was it's it's a new hobby right mm -hmm. so yep. it's like and it and it was cool that there was just a, like a bunch of other people that were doing it too was the big thing for me um which kind of stinks for games and communities that are really really small because sometimes like you want to run a game and you're like oh i'm really interested in this game but like it's there's like not really anyone like playing it or whatever um i still think if someone if someone's listening and they have that game that they're interested in, pl try it just try it yeah i know it might like seem like oh no one cares about this or whatever there's like this random super nintendo game i'm going to run it one day it's called congo's caper like, there's only, like, five people on the SRC boards, but I'm going to run it one day. And I'm going to, like, 
try super high on it because i really like that game and i think it's super sick i've, but, I've like, never heard of that game see <laughs> yeah no one has yeah, like yeah. i mean it's, you, it's, know, you know that game that uh gamer liquify is running nowadays uh, uh arrow the acrobat yeah yeah i had yeah, never yeah, heard yeah. of that game before uh, but like just watching him and blum bunny spear on that game like i'm like yeah this, this, this game is sick and like, yeah, I, just, like cool, I looked up right? the leaderboards the other day and like there are four times <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and it's like like somebody doing it might motivate somebody else to do it like a uh, like a crazy example of this is like darby and doing alf you know like like he played like i i never even thought of the game alf ever like yeah i don't even like, i don't even know but like yeah <laughs> did, didn't didn't him running that game like inspire like a bunch of people it wasn't just a like one person people. yeah like it, re- it was a lot of people yeah, they yeah. all like 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 that game has like it now like went to like i don't even i don't even know like, wait how many actually people. didn't he also do that with dragster who, who did it with dragster uh, that might be before my time i'm not too sure oh uh, okay okay um, I'm not, I'm like, not, yeah, i remember when dragster was like the, the the hot shit and like then everyone started uh tying the record or whatever yeah i'm trying to like find out how many people are on the alpha leaderboard all right let's go let's go to uh our favorite uh website speedrun.com speedrun.com yep uh, we, ha- we, ha- we have a saying one. in the community uh about speedrun.com it, it's uh it's definitely a game dude like the search engine's not even working <laughs> to speedrun.com. good website by the way <laughs> oh man yeah. If only they spend that uh, money they get from all their ads on the, their stupid website. That was crazy. When I saw that post, they're like, oh, if you want to add free experience, you should consider like subscribing or whatever. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. If, if you, if you <laughs> want to like, add ad free crazy. experience on speedrun.com, just, just get ad block. That's, that's what I've that's done. That's crazy. Yeah, there's, okay, so there's 15 times on the any percent boards for ALF, which I think there were three. Before Darby and before Richard. Darby and, uh, yeah, yeah, so it's like that makes sense. Anyone, anyone can try it. Try out a game that's like not really known and just. I mean, yeah. and to be honest, it can be kind of cool to do that because it's if it's like especially if it's like really inactive because it's kind of like okay, well, I'm figuring this out and I could maybe be an innovator. You know, like I always think that like running like those types of like you know not so popular games is still like really cool um, yeah yeah because it's it's uncharted that... territory in a sense yeah it really is yeah. there's so much room for like discovery mm-hmm. there could be some huge glitch that no one knows about yep. in that game you know and that's kind of cool but yeah it definitely you know. is and like at the same time like yeah like you said it just like brings those games to the forefront and like people hear about those games they they they, they see that game play out mm. and like they're interested in picking it up and like all of a sudden like the game increases in popularity like when i started running donkey like there weren't a lot of people running donkey and now like really? the community is huge yeah no it seems i mean like and it seemed to me at least when i first picked it up that everyone <laughs> there's so many people that were running it already so like when i when you tell me that the game wasn't that big i'm like oh really like that's crazy no no yeah like when, when, <laughs> when i when i picked the game up like it was uh it, it was the stone age <laughs> really like <laughs> the, the, the the stone age for donkey kong speedrunning like there were maybe like i want to say like less than a dozen active runners damn that's crazy. Yeah. Like, obviously, there were more times on the leaderboards, but, like, as far as, like, active runners and, like, people... In across... The is this across concerned. all three games? Uh, yeah. I want to say so, yeah. Like... Th- th- there was, like, a bit of overlap between one and two, but, like, three was mostly isolated from, like, the others. Like, I, I think, see. like... Like, Morx and Nocturne, I want to say, were, like, the only two uh, being, like, really active running DKC3. Mm-hmm. And, like, everyone, everybody else was, like, mostly uh, uh, concentrated in DKC1 and 2. Gotcha. I see. But, yeah, like, not not, not that many not that many active runners. And not, nowadays, it's just, like, the, the Discord is active. Like, every time you go in... Uh, the dkc directory is on twitch you'll find someone running the games like yeah there's always somebody playing i want to say like one of the games like pretty much at all times yeah um 
whether it's like a top runner or just like somebody that's like you know just new to picking it up or whatever it's like there's just usually somebody there yep um, which is good of course yeah and no, i think that's really cool <laughs> Always, because always gonna make the, the communities cool. grow. Yeah. Although, like, sometimes I see like how much attention SM64 gets, and like sometimes I just see like the people, <laughs> like top orders chats, and I'm just like, man, that seems overwhelming. <laughs> like, yeah. Like have, have like, a game having like that much attention because like I like imagine like you know somebody like gets world record at a game or whatever, right? And then like. A chatter, someone that doesn't speak it at all, just goes into the person who got bots, like chat or whatever, and is just like, "Hey, by the way, such and such beat your time," you know, <laughs> like in case you didn't already know, like it's just. Well, like, oh, you, you, you say that, but like I, I remember like getting those kinds of messages in my chat, like not even like that many years ago. Yeah. 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 Just... When when uh, I imagine that it's like when SVD uh, got any percent world record in DKC two. Uh no, not even. It was actually like before that. It was just like oh, really? me messages like, "Hey, have, have you seen like this crazy run from last night?" And I'm just like, every single stream, it's like that. Like I get I get yeah, asked, yeah. "Hey, have you seen this this run or that run from like this guy last night?" Just, just like yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> can we talk of something else please yeah, yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> and i mean like i don't know it's just like they, they, they really want to like rub in it's probably not even intentional to like have them rub it in uh your face but it really comes off as that like they think mm -hmm. that um they think that like sometimes uh competition is the uh, the goal that like what people are seeking always like it's always like about world records and stuff. Not even about that. What was that? I was gonna say it seems like most of the time like no one's really even interested in that or like it's not even really about that because it's just like nah. Like even if someone does really want world record, like some people really don't have interest in like going like back and forth with somebody. No, you know, no. like very, like, very like, rarely I would say that like the interest of going back and forth is like I. Uh, honestly, I, uh, I can probably count on, like, one hand the amount of times that, like, I've encountered, like, people, like, really desiring to go back and forth in a speed game. Yeah. And it's, like, I feel like, for me at least, like, if someone beats my time, I'm just, like, it might motivate me, like, a little bit more to, like, in a competitive sense, of course, like, I want to, like, beat their time back or whatever, mm -hmm. but, like... yeah. It's usually not like I'll drop everything and like do that immediately. You know? Yeah, no, like, that that once like once again that doesn't happen anymore. That doesn't happen. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Back in the day, like yeah, maybe it's just like yeah, like if if I get bobbed, like I'm gonna go back immediately. It's just like that's a pretty <laughs> like old school mentality of speedrunning. Like you, no, yeah. nowadays, it's like just, just play whatever you want, man. Like get get, get 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 the times that will satisfy you and like play like that's that's another like big thing like play for yourself don't play to cater an audience like the audience yeah. will come naturally mm -hmm. yeah and it's also just more fun that way less stressful oh yeah like, yeah that, that way way less stressful it'll probably also just generally feel more rewarding like when i was grinding for a 34 1x and nmg like I was really, really like motivated to make that time happen. And when I finally got it, I was like, I was super duper happy about it. I was just like, I did it. Like, I, I think I, I, I said something in my P video. I was like, oh, I finally made a goal for myself and just reached it. And I feel content. Like that was like a huge deal for me. Right. Like, yeah. I was just like, I feel like half the time when I'm speed running, I get so distracted by all these like things where it's like, oh, I want to go for this time. And then maybe I get a little bit better at the game. You know, and then I'm just like, maybe I can go a little further. And then suddenly I see leaderboard times and I start to think all these other things. And I'm just like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do, you know. Like, right, right, yeah. And then uh, for some people, they they want to, a concrete like goal of like, this is the time I want. And mm -hmm. they'll just stick with it no matter what. Some people, they kind of want a little bit more like looseness, you know, a little bit more freedom to kind of just be like, oh, well, I'll just, you know play see how i feel play, yeah exactly. see how i feel and like, um just 
arbitrary goals in general it's like it, it's it's fine but like for the most part i've always been of the opinion that like i'll i'll play until i get a run that i'm satisfied with and like right. like for example like my current 102 grind right now like right. uh I really want a 125, uh, but, yeah. like, if if I, like, just really wanted to move on, like, I could at the moment. Not that, like, yeah. I'm really, like, that satisfied with my current uh, 102 PB, but, like, I know that, like, just walking off the game for a while is going to satisfy me. So, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah, that category seems so tough, dude. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's, 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 it seems it's, like such an uphill battle. It's, it's pretty difficult. <laughs> whispers in the like it's from our moment <laughs> yeah but yeah like i i think out of all the dec categories it's it's the hardest oh yeah like straight Maybe. up yeah i think it's the hardest category to run and to optimize i can see that yeah. i mean first of all it's length is a big thing um i do think that generally i want i don't know how true this is and you can feel free to you know uh say how you feel about it but like i always kind of thought that dkc2 was probably the more difficult platforming uh among the three games uh just as a speedrunner yeah so what i've uh, what i've always said regarding that is that like i think dkc2's barrier of entry is a little higher than the other two but mm -hmm. eventually uh the difficulty for all three games will converge towards yeah, like the, the same point because like once you get consistent movement in whichever of the three you're playing that part kind of doesn't like matter as much yeah yeah exactly yeah, but like they, they, they will they will all have their own thing like you know dkc1 will have the jump rolls dkc2 will have the wrong warps and dkc3 will have bleak skip it's just like <laughs> bleak skip. and then task chaos right Is that, yeah that's, yeah that's, task that's, chaos, that's the thing man. that the, the kids are doing nowadays <laughs> the, the kids are doing that the kid like the kids are getting good man the kids are getting good <laughs> at just you know picking up the kaizo strats and including them like back that's in my crazy. day i was like the only one who was doing uh, task chaos was uh sui mind and nowadays like i can count like half a dozen people at least who it's do task neat. chaos and runs yeah, you need the time save. So yeah, at this point, at this point, you need a time save. Like, I'm pretty sure you need that time save to get a 45. So that is crazy. Yeah, like 40, 45 is the 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 new milestone now for that game. The new milestone is 37 possible. <laughs> <sighs> All right, well, it's it's, 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 not, it's it's time to talk about something else, gamers. It's time to talk about something. Else. <laughs> That, uh, you, you know of my uh, my emote, right? Uh, void is thirty seven possible. Yeah, I, yeah, I saw it, and it, it just says no. <laughs> the, the, the big comic sans no. Yep, yep. I'm, I'm a fan sense. of that. No, yeah. no meme though. Like, I feel like it would be barely possible with gusty wrong warp, but you yeah. would need like actually like off the charts movement and gusty yeah. wrong warp. That was kind of what I figured too. I figured that like you would need gusty wrong warp and just a very like very good not just run. not just clean. It would have to be like a super duper clean run. Yeah, like, yeah, like crazy and like clean. very good RNG on the crow fights. Yeah, yeah, that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like, it's probably it kind of reminds me of like I don't know. It kind of reminds me of like thirty without like creme tut type type territory mm -hmm. although maybe that's a little better now with some other stuff because of the like 4-1 super jump roll and stuff but like uh before that it seemed like without you needed to get a thir like creme tut to get a 30 and even like right because like 12 seconds is just such a massive time save at this level yeah exactly and even like both of the 30s that lovebird got both had creme tut and would not have been 30s without creme tut yeah it's like a, it's like another thing like, like, like the current like, record would not be a 30 without cram yeah exactly yeah um granted like i mean i still think that like we have found a few like we found like a like a, there's like the faster bird touch setup there's a faster antic setup it's like those like one second three seconds two seconds here or whatever like yeah. that stuff like it's starting to add it adds up, up exactly yep here but like it's, I, I, at this point like i mean 30 30 has to be easier to get in dkc1 than a 37 in dkc2 like at least that's how it seems yeah to me, but... yeah well it's you know the difficulty is relative to like yeah that's true to, to it to its own game because like i said like um 
you know, the fact that you have to hit, like, how many jump rolls is it uh, at this point in the run? Uh, uh, boy, do you count the first crime as far as a jump roll? <laughs> I mean, for, first crime is, is friend perfect, right? It's like pixel perfect or something. It's it's so stupid. Yeah, the the this... big thing is that you have to like push the D-pad and a whole like push hold and like release it and it's mostly about that release and how early you release it that makes a difference, which is like so it's not really about when you push left on the D-pad. It's when it's you about, release it. It's about how long you push it and like how it, yeah, and when you okay, release yeah. it. Yeah. So, so it like, could be like effectively double frame perfect. Because in a like, way if it, yeah if it it's... cares on like when you press left and when you release left then like that's two different times mm -hmm. two different inputs yeah so like it, it, in a way i guess so like if you count that's like that there's like the 41 sjr there's rbr rbr there's oda antix mcm and mcm then... tut and mincers. mincers and then technically if you want to go for an optimal run uh you can do four baddie misty so that's nine <laughs> right yeah but like which does save a good chunk of time but four four uh, baddie misty would save like what two seconds um so when i was running any percent i was doing attempts with with and without it and i was saving about 2.5 seconds over an optimal like as as optimal as i could get it mm -hmm. sfr yeah but like in all stages half the time my sfrs are a lot slower just because i'm really not trying to choke the run but like so yeah like, so you take would... the sfr safe yeah <laughs> like, I, like I, as like... per their name <laughs> yeah right it's super free roll right yep. so. <laughs> But that that was saving me like about like more like three point five seconds over like what I was doing at all mm. stages. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, yeah that's, I mean that's that's, pro that's probably what it would save for me because like I've always taken the uh, the SFR setup like pretty safe. Like I I, right. I I still use like a lot of uh, I call them grandpa strats in DKC one because <laughs> like yeah I've never really like update them, them like that, that's like my lex project you know like going back to dkc1 like updating a bunch of strats and updating a bunch of pbs once i'm done with the 125 but like a lot of my strats are still from like 2017 and before like you know like yeah. i just never updated them i just like you know take take everything safe and like just like play runs out or try to or literally that would be me if i was like to pick back up sonic adventure 2 there's so many new things that have been found since the last time I ran that game, but like I just go in and just be like, be like, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? It's like, oh, I just I don't know how to do it. Yeah, <laughs> it was like that happened while I was like playing other games, and I don't really feel like learning it. <laughs> and that's pretty much that conversation. Are you gonna so. go back to uh, Sonic Adventure Two eventually? I think so. Yeah. yeah, I I feel like my time, even with the strats, when I got my current PB. I lost, like, I made, like, two huge mistakes that lost 10 and 15 seconds mm -hmm. um, in that run. And my PB in SA2 was actually in the tournament for Hero Story. Oh, like, so okay. I, I got it in a race, uh, which, like, was also, at the time, a threshold. Like, I got my first sub-23 minute time, an in-game time. So, like, it stinks because, like, I was doing a race, so I didn't have camera or anything. But I, like, literally, like, I just, like, get up and I, like jump like this like when i got the last hit at the final boss i like but like it'll never there's no video of it like yeah yeah you know, like i'm really sad that i don't have that moment because like i remember it so well i just like yelled yes Damn. i swear my head hit the ceiling like i jumped so high <laughs> the off stream town all pop off yeah literally <laughs> <laughs> oh, love man. it but yeah no i i'm interested in picking it back up again at some point it's just such like a yeah. Uh, that game that game requires a lot of de-resting because of mostly because of the knuckles pieces because like they're in that game there's like five stages that are there are five splits and you know parallel to that there are five stages uh that are entirely rng um which give you a combination of three locations you have to go to that are that have was it 1024 different combinations and there's 1024 routes <laughs> right yeah, those yeah. Splits. so you can't like always optimize those routes perfectly yeah because that's just, just too much gonna, it's too much you're not gonna get even if you 
you'd have to you'd have to in theory you would have to play those stages 1024 times and every time there should be no repeats yeah. which like is not realistic now granted there are some combinations that will like say like i have to go upright up left down for example um there might be like 50 combos that will always involve you going upright up left down mm -hmm. for example yeah and that though maybe those movements will be like kind of parallel to each other yeah. but like, so, that, so there's always like kind of a, a guideline to follow when it comes to like following the rng in that level but at the same time like considering the amount of patterns that there are you just like like no one will ever be like optimal at each and every of them yeah but people have gotten pretty good at it yeah there, there's been there's been so much optimization since i last played so i could always do that but de-rusting that yeah is a pain and that's just one part that's not the whole rest of the game yeah so, yeah exactly like see like we're, we're talking about like daunting things earlier in speedrunning like that's one of them like that yeah. sounds that sounds really daunting to me like, like you like i i don't even know anything about the game like i haven't played it yet right yeah like i de-rusting is definitely a thing especially when you haven't played a game for a while like you're just like oh well like i have to you know you're gonna hold yourself to like a little bit higher expectations than if yep. you were to pick up something new yep. and i think that that's a big thing about de-rusting in general because like you're there's almost a little bit of like ego just a tiny bit oh yeah of, like there, 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 like, there totally is yeah, like, of like, oh, well, I was this good. I knew what I could get back then. Mm -hmm. So when I pick it up again, I'm going to expect to do that, but better. And that is not going to be the case more often. Yeah, than yeah. So, like, when I, like, I de-rusted Link to the Past for the NMG tournament that happened, uh, I think it was last year at this point, like, I would get so forever, mad. Man. I would get so mad to, like, not be able to, like, come even close to my PB, my old PB, which was, like, I think at the time, like, a mid-126. And then, like, uh -huh. as soon as I beat that PB, then I started, like, enjoying running Link to the Past. As crazy as it sounds, I, like, I, 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 I was like, oh, it's... I, 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 bro I broke the curse. I broke, like, my old self. Like, I, be I beat my old self. So, like, now I'm just, like... I, I was just, like, playing. And, like, I was getting, like, insane times. And then, like, I just, like, caught off, like, another minute and a half off of yeah. my PB. Like, I sh two minutes so total the from mental. my old PB from, like... Uh, I, th I think it was, like, 2018 uh, or 2019. Yeah. But, like, yeah, it was... It was, it was uh, it, the, the grind paid off. That's for sure. It's always so relieving when that happens. Like, yeah. it's just so good for the mental. And then everything after is just, like, so easy. Because you're not worried about it, you know? Yeah, you're exactly. literally just playing. Mm -hmm. Like, everything that is, like, hard about speedrunning, in my opinion, is upstairs. Oh, like, yeah. It's all, <laughs> it's all just... It's like... It's like... Because what you, you're going to be thinking so many things when you're speedrunning. I'm hungry. Thirsty. Tired. Like... Uh for streamers like my chat's not active um my i don't know like i gotta keep scratching my head i don't know like <laughs> just so, something something I, I scratch my head like all the time when i'm freaking streaming yeah <laughs> so I just think about that a bunch but i mean i, pro I probably uh, do the same or like scratch my nose like uh, yeah. my, my nose is like always itchy when i speed run it's like okay yeah, like yeah. between levels i'll like scratch my nose or whatever it's like mm -hmm. scratch my face it's like the, the, the itchiest face on the fucking planet. <laughs> yeah, it's just like so. All of those things are like playing a factor when you're speedrunning. So like, that's going to be like almost like IRL RNG. Yeah. For like how you're going to perform in your attempts in like an everyday scenario. Yeah. Totally. And like setting, it's like some people are like kind of have the approach of like. I don't know. Well, I don't know how many speedrunners do this, but I know melee players definitely do this. They set themselves up in advance, where it's like, okay, well, like, if I want to like do my best at like a tournament, it's like plenty of sleep, like good food, um, no caffeine, like all this, like you know, stuff or whatever to kind of preemptively prepare themselves for the event but like with speedrunning it's just so easy to kind of not worry about that stuff you're just like eh, whatever like I'll yeah, sleep yeah. i feel like it i'll eat whatever i feel like eating you know like if i want some coffee i'll have some coffee you know but like it's kind of interesting because sometimes i think like what if i 
personally did those things and like how would would that help me is that something that's good for like because you could argue oh eating healthy it's good for your lifestyle like no caffeine that's good for your lifestyle like getting enough sleep it's good for your lifestyle but like sometimes you're just up at night and you just want to do stuff you know so yup totally <laughs> yeah it's always about the lifestyle <laughs> it's so true all right cool um do you want to like wrap this up looks like we're hitting the uh the hour mark yeah the hour mark yeah, yeah. heck yeah well, well um, if we if, if you don't have anything else to add yeah not really not really we'll save some content for next time <laughs> yeah exactly what i what i really want to say is uh thanks everyone for tuning in uh, yeah this has been a lot of fun uh, yep. i love i just love talking about this type of stuff it's super enjoyable um so I, I always have stuff to say. I feel like I always have things to say on stream, but I never really, like, get a chance to kind of, like, sit down and, like, you know. Yeah. You, know, you, know, you never really, like, have the, not not to say, like, the time to voice them. I mean, at the same time, like, maybe because, like, you have to, like, speed run at the same time. But it's just, like. Just, yeah, that too, right? It's <laughs> just, just, like, expressing, like, the, the, the thoughts on, like, a, in, in the different setting. Like, not, yeah. not, like, being bothered by, like trying to like go fast at the same time is uh it's definitely something yeah it's, it's better exactly it cool. works out well, um, yeah thanks everybody for tuning in yeah ty really watch data face ty watch data face yeah and, uh, the, yeah hit, hit that subscribe button and all that shit <laughs> hit the sub button and we'll see you guys next time yeah